What is up guys, it's yours truly Delboy, hope you guys are doing well. When Tyson Fury announced his June 15th opponent, it was met with a lot of disappointment and negativity. Well, that has now been doubled down because Tyson Fury versus Tom Genital Schwartz is on pay-per-view BT Sports box office. I mean, it really is scraping the barrel. To have a fight of this quality that's being shown at about 5am on Sunday morning on pay-per-view is just a joke. That's all there is to it. It really is a joke. And listen, I'm not digging out Frank Warren. I've actually been giving Frank Warren a bit of praise recently because he's put on Josh Warrington versus Kid Galahad on regular BT. And he's also put on Daniel Dubois versus Nathan Gorman on regular BT. These are great fights, and these are fights I'm looking forward to, and they're fights I gave Frank Warren credit for making. But, there's no defending this. Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz, 5am on a Sunday morning, is not pay-per-view. It's a terrible fight, just look at the odds. And don't give me, oh well, Tom Schwartz is highly ranked in VWBO. I don't care, to be honest. We all know that the sanctioning body rankings can include some absolute no-hopers. This fight is terrible. I mean, to put it in perspective, what is Tom Schwartz's best win? It's, it's arguably Senad Gashi, and he had to get Senad Gashi disqualified to win that fight. He was struggling in that fight. He was getting hit, he was panicking, and he resorted into basically diving like a footballer, acting like a pansy, to get his opponent disqualified. It was an absolute farce. And they're putting this on pay-per-view. 5am on a Sunday morning. With what's going to be a terrible undercard. They can suck my left nut. It's not happening. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Tom Schwartz. Jesus, I mean. Tom Schwartz, by the way, went for distance. With Dennis Lewandowski. The same Dennis Lewandowski. Who got knocked out by Fabio Wardley. Uh, last weekend. Tom Schwartz is not elite, he is a very average heavyweight, and, you know, he's a lamb to the slaughter. This fight isn't competitive in the slightest. And, you know, if Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz is pay-per-view, then God help us all. And a lot of you fanboys out there have enabled this by claiming Tyson Fury is lineal, by claiming he's a man. You've been gassing this guy up, now he's pulled your pants down and robbed you. How do you feel? How can you defend this rubbish? The guy's cashing out. He's got no intention of fighting Deontay Wilder anytime soon. And, you know, this is just a disgusting cherry pick. Getting paid an absolute bomb for fighting a less than stellar opponent who sounds like an STD. Come on now. Get out of here with that. The heavyweight division right now really isn't delivering on a consistent basis. I'm very grateful for Daniel Dubois versus Nathan Gorman. Great fight between two young prospects. I love it. But apart from that, there's been very little positivity coming out of the heavyweight division. I mean, even go to look at Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz with a weak undercard full of mismatches is a pay-per-view at 5 o'clock in the morning. I know Andy Ruiz is better than Tom Schwartz, and I know the circumstances around that fight are a lot different, you know, Jarrell Miller testing positive, etc. But regardless, it's still not a pay-per-view fight. It's a mismatch. And despite the main events being scrapped because of a dirty drug test, the undercard is still terrible. You know, that, that didn't affect the undercard. They could have still had a strong undercard. But no, they scrimped and they scraped and they tried to do it on the cheap. Callum Smith looks like he's fighting Hassan and Dam, a middleweight. Josh Kelly's fighting a decent step up against Ray Robinson. I'm sure Boazzi's going to fight a no-hoper. I mean, it's just not pay-per-view worthy. Give something back to the fans. Say, do you know what? This fight's on at silly o'clock. It's not the original opponent. The undercard isn't great. Let's just put it on regular Sky. And, you know, listen, they could do that. Joshua's getting paid by the zone. He's getting paid 20-odd million dollars. So, 
Listen, put this fight on regular Sky. It's not pay-per-view. Yeah, it's not as bad as Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz, but it's still bad in my opinion. And right now in, in the UK, I think boxing fans need to really um, start voting with their wallets. Don't buy these trash fights. They are taking the absolute mick at this stage. And like I said, the only real way to, you know, as a fan, try to force these fights through is to vote with your wallet. Don't buy these fights until the fight gets made that you want to buy. Don't buy these gross mismatches because if you buy them, guess what? They'll keep on making them, you muppet. Let's take Anthony Joshua, for example. I'm only going to buy fights with Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and Alexander Usyk. If he's not fighting those guys, whether it's his fault or not, I ain't buying those fights. Same goes for Tyson Fury, and same goes to Deontay Wilder. I'm not buying these fights. I could give an F less whose fault it is. I could give an F less who you think is to blame. All I know is, as a boxing fan, I'm not getting the fights I want. And ultimately, that's all that matters. If you're a boxing fan and you're not getting the fights you want, that's when you should be angry, you know? But instead, we've got people out here making excuses for these clowns, counting their purses, you know, counting their viewing figures. Oh, so-and-so's a bigger star than so-and-so. So-and-so makes more money than so-and-so. I really have had enough of these cheerleaders, to be completely honest. A lot of these guys are grown men. They should know better. But yet they are enabling this type of behaviour. You know, it's embarrassing. I mean, I've literally seen boxing channels, you know, come out with videos and basically say, oh, Fighter X has appeared on a uh, certain TV show, therefore he's a, a bigger draw than Fighter Y. Bro, you're a boxing fan. Why are you talking about nonsense like that? It's embarrassing. You're a grown man, you've got kids probably. What is wrong with you guys, man? Week after week, month after month, year after year, the YTBC slash YouTube boxing scene, it gets less about boxing, more about drama, more about fanboyism, more about dick riding, and more about handbags. And basically handbags is drama. It's called handbags because fucking women do it. Bickering. Nonsense. You deserve a slap, some of you guys. The way you conduct yourselves is absolutely disgusting and appalling and embarrassing. You listen to some of these guys, yeah, get interviews with their favourite fighters. Listen to how they speak to their favourite fighters. Like they're in awe. It's absolutely cringeworthy. I don't get yeah how you could have so little self-respect and act that way in the presence of another man you've never met. I just don't get it. The only man you should view in your life like that is your dad or your brother or somebody like that. Not some dude you've never met before. What's wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with you? It's embarrassing, man, and listen, it, I, I've just had enough of a lot of people in this whole YouTube thing. It's getting beyond a joke at this point, and ultimately, yes, a lot of people, we're going to have disagreements. We're not always going to be on the same side of the argument. That's fine. That's life. But, as boxing fans, our main goal should always be the same, and that is to get the best fights. That is for the best to fight the best. And a lot of people out there are, you know, enabling these fighters to take the absolute piss. And those people know who they are. If you think this video is about you, chances are it probably is. And if you have an issue with that, do something about it. So yeah, man, it's, um, I've had enough of this, this whole heavyweight scene. It's starting to piss me right off. Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz on pay-per-view. They can go and do one. Yeah, Frank Warren, he's delivered Josh Warrington versus Kid Galahad on BT Regular. Fair play. He's delivered Daniel Dubois versus Nathan Gorman on regular BT. Fair play. But that's no excuse for this joke. And I've seen fans out there try to excuse this fight being on pay-per-view because Warren's put on a couple of good fights on regular BT. Doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. This is a joke. Anyway, I'm done.